Oasis Kids. I am Olivia. Welcome to church today. I am so thankful that you are here. One of my favorite things is to learn about God. And this month, we are learning about God's stories in the beginning of the Bible. So let's jump right into it by putting on our listening ears. I got one on and I got the second one on. Do you have your listening ears on? Okay, and we cannot forget about our thinking caps. So let's put on our thinking caps together. One, two, three. You got them? Very good, boys and girls. Let's check out this Bible story now. Stories of the Bible. Creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless, and dark. But the Spirit of God was there. On the first day, God said, Let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, Let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space sky. On the third day, God said, Let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree. And God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, Let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the sun for the day and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, Let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. And God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, Let the earth make every sort of animal. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into man, and a man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper, so God put man into a deep sleep. And while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs. Then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Hello. Hi. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea. Hello, Hello. The birds in the sky. Hello, bird and all the animals that scurry along the ground. <laughs> then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food, and I have given you every green plant as food for all the animals. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work, and God blessed the seventh day and said it was holy. Oh my, God created everything. He created these people who are in our Bible story. He created the planets and the stars, the skies and the sea. He even created you and me. Wow. Okay, 
Our friend Denisha is hanging out with Melly and Gus in the Scuppeton Safari Park. Let's see what they're up to today. Hi, I'm Denisha. And I'm Melly. Welcome to the Scuppeton Safari Park. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun today learning about God's yeah. creation. Wait, what? I thought we were gonna learn about animals. <laughs> we are. Did you know that God created every animal, plant, and person? Really? Yeah. Come along with me and let's see some of the amazing creatures God made. Oh yes! Friends, let's go on a safari! <laughs> so a safari is all about seeing animals in their natural home. To do that, we have to keep a good eye out. Got it! Oh, oh, I see something over there! That's a zebra. Wow, did God make those? Yeah, he did. I like them. They have stripes. I have spots. I think we would be great friends. I'm sure you could be. Hey, did you see that? That was a cheetah. Oh, it's so fast. And look at his spots, just like me. Did God make the cheetah too? Yeah, he did. Oh, hey, look over there. Those are mandrels. Wow. Wow, Melly, you're really good at spotting these animals. Thanks. Did God make the mandrels too? Yeah, he did. What are they doing? Are they picking jelly beans off each other and eating them? <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> no, they're not picking jelly beans off each other, but they're grooming each other. Oh. You know, kind of like how your parents will brush your hair or might help you take a bath when you're little. Oh. That's how the mandrels take care of each other, by helping each other out. Oh, I like that. I love mandrels. Me too. You know what, that reminds me of something. Let's go back to Safari Park. I'm gonna need your help. Okay, bye mandrels, bye zebras, bye cheetahs. That was so fun. All right, what do you need my help with? Okay, well seeing those mandrels help each other out reminded me that we have a job to do too. Really? What is it? Our job is to take care of God's creation. Oh, you mean we get to take care of the animals? Oh boy! <laughs> yes, we do, but it's even bigger than that. We wow. get to take care of the whole planet. Oh, wow. That means we get to take care of the plants and the oceans and the animals and even ourselves. Oh. God made the whole world and everything in it, and he wants us to take care of it. That sounds like a really big job. How do I do that? Well, there are really simple ways that we can do this. We can take care of ourselves by eating good foods. Oh. Going outside to play. Oh, I love to play. I can do that. You can also take care of yourself by getting to know God better, by talking to Him in prayer and listening to Bible stories. Oh, that sounds fun. What else can we take care of? Well, we can take care of plants by watering them and watching where we step so we make sure that we don't hurt them. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I don't want to squish any of the pretty plants. And we can also make sure that we throw away our trash in the right place instead oh. of leaving it wherever we want. Oh, okay, I'll do that. But how do we take care of the animals? That's a good question, Melly. And we're gonna do that right now. Really? Yeah, we're gonna get the food ready for the mandrels. Oh boy! Wow, they eat all this stuff? Yeah. So one of the ways that we can take care of the animals we have is by feeding them. We can also be gentle with them and make sure that we don't hurt them. Wow, that's so amazing! I love taking care of God's creation. I can't wait to do it! Well, there's no reason to wait. Let's start right now. Can you hand me some of those berries? Oh yes. Wow. We have a lot of work to do, don't we? Yeah, we do. But if we all help, we can do such a great job of taking care of God's creation. Yeah. Remember, friends, that you can take care of God's creation. Yeah, it'll be so much fun. Thanks for joining us on our Scuppet Safari. Remember that God loves you all so much. And so do we. We'll see you out here next time. Bye. <laughs> wow, those animals are so cool. Boys and girls, I hope you were paying attention. Were you paying attention with your listening ears and your thinking caps? Okay, I'm so glad you were because we are going to play a game with Melly. So it's time to stand up. If you weren't already, stand up, boys and girls, come on. All right, we're ready to go. Take it away, Melly. Hi, I'm Melly. And it's time to play Melly's Memory Mobanza. How do you play? Well, let me tell you. 
First, everyone stand up. On your feet, not your heads. Now you need to meet two of my friends. This is a lion. He likes to roar like this. Roar! Now it's your turn to roar like a lion. Roar! <laughs> that was good. Don't you think so, Mr. Lion? Oh, I have another friend. This is a gorilla. He likes to go ooh, 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 ooh. Try to do it with him. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do you think, Mr. Gorilla? I think they did a great job too. Now to play our game, you're going to have to remember how to make these sounds. I'm going to ask you a question. If you think the lion has the answer, roar! But if you think the gorilla has the answer, go ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, let's get started with our first question. Who made everything in the whole world? Was it God or was it the gorilla? That's right! God created everything in the whole world. Now for our next question. What's one way we can take care of God's creation? Can we take care of God's creation by throwing our trash on the ground where it doesn't belong? Or can we take care of God's creation by being gentle with animals? Yay! You're right! One way we can take care of God's creation is by being gentle with animals. I love animals, don't you? Oh, time for the last question. What's one way we can take care of ourselves? Can we do that by listening to Bible stories? Or can we do that by eating a million jelly beans in one minute? Wow, you're right. We can take care of ourselves by listening to Bible stories. You are amazing. You can all sit down now. Thanks for playing Melly's Memory Mobamza. I hope you remember all the things we learned together. But I also hope you remember that Jesus loves you. Don't forget it. Bye. Oh my goodness. You are so intelligent. Boys and girls, I am so proud of you that you answered these questions. This is me with my pretend beard and a pretend accent. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Well done, boys and girls. I am really proud of you. Great job. Great job. I think you know what time it is. It's bubble time with bestos. Let's pop these bubbles together. Okay, everybody. It's bubble popping time! A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here and pop them out of sight. Boys and girls, pay attention now. I, I want to tell you something. These Bible verses, God's word is life-giving. Do you understand that? God's word is so powerful. It is there to comfort you. It is there to bring you joy. It is there to help you when you are in trouble or need anything. One way that we can remember God's word is to sing it. So let's worship together right now by singing our memory verse. Put your hands together, boys and girls. 
All right, let's go. This song is Isaiah 40, 28. Let's start by clapping our hands like this. We're gonna sing out, have you never heard, have you never understood? Let's sing this verse together. Have you never heard? Worshiping together is such a treat to do with you. Our time together has come to a close, but only for today. We'll be back next week, don't you worry. So let's take a moment to breathe in and breathe out and pray together, okay? All right, so boys and girls, breathe in and breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. Now, let's put five fingers over here and five fingers over there. Put them together for our prayer. God, thank you for creating us. Thank you for creating this earth that we live in. Help us to take care of this earth in our homes and the places that we go. Help us also to take care of our bodies and our minds and our emotions. Holy Spirit, show us what steps we can take for all the days of our lives. We love you, Lord. Amen. Oasis Kids, I love you so much. Jesus, God's Son, loves you so much. And I am so excited to see you next week. Bye for now. I'm going to wave two ways, this way and this way. Bye for now. <laughs> or you can wave this way. Bye. Goodbye. Or you can wave this way. Or you could wave this way, like the queen. <laughs> okay, bye Oasis kids. See you next time.